Hello again, MagmaWK here. Oh dear, I know what some of you are thinking. This game, let's press start and have the beautiful lady wink at us. Indeed. Is this Athena? It is. Does it have to do with Greek mythology? Sort of. Well, apparently the story is. Athena bores of her life and jumps through a portal and loses her dress. Don't let the American version tell you that, though. You can jump. A little high? A lot high. You can kick. But surely there's more than that. You gotta beat enemies up and steal their weapons. Hopefully steal some weapons sometime. And get various power-ups along the way. Some may say this is a horrible game, and they would be right. There's no love for it. So smash blocks with your hammer. That makes sense. And maybe you'll find power-ups, like a helmet. Various armors will eventually disappear if you get hit enough. Of course, if you get hit enough, you'll die. And watch out for slimes. They may cause trouble. Ah, finally, some armor. You are no longer naked. And, of course, a shield to project, protect from projectiles. This game is all about finding secrets and powerful weapons like a ball and chain. You can't equip change it for a sword. Colors depending on how powerful it is. Right now I got a pretty powerful sword. And I could fall down here to take an alternate path. Be careful of some items you don't want to pick up. And well, there are a lot of secrets in this game as to where to go, because you might loop around if you don't go in the right path. A little bit too cheerful, isn't it? And that red glove decreased the power of my sword. Oh dear, it reverted it to a blue sword. Yes, your colors can tell you how powerful you, your enemy is, or how powerful your item is. But remember, swords can't destroy blocks. Dreadful, I know. Oh dear, I got hit. That means I lost armor. That armor wasn't durable enough. And I'm really not in move for billy clubs. So I try to avoid them. You should probably try to avoid this game. I wanted this game to be good when I rented it several times as a kid. But, well, you know, stuff happens and this stuff happens. And stuff happens. I actually might need to get a club to search some bricks. Because eventually we're going to find a boss in this wonderful land of mushrooms, goblins, and archers and hiding in trees. And occasionally, flowers out of nowhere. To restore life. Some of them will give you heart containers to increase your maximum life. Some of them will give you money for points, which are useless. Well, you might get enough points to get an extra life. Unless you want to continue. Unlimited continue. But of course, it's from the beginning of the stage. Oh, them hearts. And I think I'm going to come up with the first frost very soon. Oh dear, there's a tree flinging deadly fireball apples at me. And it's got a root problem. But I can't get close enough. Hey, look, I picked up a archer bow along the way. That means I can hit it. But if I don't have the right weapon and armor... Flop. Dead Athena. Yes, this has been a test of some lower quality video for a low quality video game to test a few settings. 
Let's see, I am at the five minute mark. Five and a half. And I have done only... That's an awful small file size for 50% quality. 45 megabytes. I think I can do get away with a little bit higher. Well, we'll see how this turns out. And you'll see my next video. Where I might do a, another horrible game. It's not the worst game. This is the horror game. Some would disagree. I know. You want that, right?